Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's video. Today we are in Fort Augustus. We're actually staying in, where are we staying? <laughs> Loch Ness we're, campsite. Yeah, we're staying at Loch Ness campsite and we have driven the van into Fort Augustus which is about a 25 minute drive. It was 18 pounds each return on um, the bus which is crazy really so we thought we'd just pack up and drive here it's a lot cheaper so yeah we're going to have a mooch around Fort Augustus the weather is looking fairly mild it was really sunny this morning it's clouding over a bit now but hopefully the rain will hold off so come with us as we head and have a look around Fort Augustus. Hi we're James and Rob and this is our dog Oscar it's a really steep learning curve when you start your motorhome campervan or caravan journey and there is lots that we wish we had known so we decided to document what we've learned and share with you our adventures as we head out on the road again. So here we are in Fort Augustus. We parked the motorhome in the car park, in the main car park. It was only four pounds to park and there were about eight bays. We, got, we were the first ones there, but within two minutes there were another three. So it was four pound for four hours. Um, yeah, the, the lock gates just closed so let's go and see what that's like just missed the, the lock closing and it looks like there is a there's a hill ship you can go out for on the day for the day Amazing, really, isn't it? Mm. Do you want to go and have a look at that up there? Yeah. We'll go and have a look. <laughs> So we just had a coffee at the Caledonian Canal Centre, which is very nice, where I showed you that bit of history. Here's the wall centre, which you might go and have a look at. Yeah. We're just going to have a walk down the canal. Oh, you can obviously get the cruise from here. Yeah, very good. go and check that out. You can see Oscar's feeling a bit better today. He's still limping a bit, but hopefully his poor is feeling better. You might want to walk him on the grass. And um, I think he's happy to be out and get some exercise. And here's all the duckies. Oh, it's nice when the sun comes out. I think one thing we've learned about this trip is that you can't pay too much attention to the weather forecast because James has checked on one app and it says rain in Braemar. And I checked on another app and it says it's going to be nice in Braemar, so let's hope I'm right and he's wrong. But Let's hope so. Um, you just don't know, do you? But we are just that walking down to the bank, banks of Loch Ness. So James says this is another parking space for motorhomes, but you'd obviously want to get here pretty early because no, it gets busy. It gets busy and it's... Because it's free. Yeah, true. So you could probably, I don't know, you can wild camp here, but potentially. Yeah, you can see why people would park here. It's a, another tip. If you want to park for free, then come down this road parallel to the canal, right in the centre of town. And you can see that that's where the parking ends, where it says no parking that's down there. Area. Yeah. Look at that church thing over there, whatever that is. It's, you can see that, but it's very pretty, very <laughs> Scottish looking, with the turrets. 
must be Fort Augustus. beautiful is this so peaceful how lovely oops how lovely would it be to be out on a boat today on this very calm water If there weren't enough gift shops, here's another gift shop as well. So, even more gosh, or tea towels that you need to buy. It's a very pretty town centre marker for the Queen Victoria's Jubilee 60th, 60th anniversary. It's definitely a place that's worth visiting for an hour or so and having a coffee and having a mixture around and yeah watching the locks and wandering down to the lock and as I said there's two places you can park where we've parked in the main car park which was not expensive four pounds for uh, four hours or you could park parallel to the canal as we showed you for free but obviously you're going to need to make sure that you get there early. So we are just gonna cross over the top of one of these locks. And it's amazing how stepped <coughs> a step this is. One, two, three, four locks <coughs> that change the height of the water pretty dramatically. Till they level with level with the actual Loch Ness. Okay, so we're going to head back to the van now, and then we're going to stop at one other place on the way back to site. So we will see you there. So we stopped at Inver Invermoriston. There's a walk that goes to the falls, to the bridge, and on that. This is about. What, less than 10 minute drive leaving Fort Augustus heading back towards our campsite we noticed this because that was a beautiful bridge um, that we saw we're heading down to the water hopefully we'll be able to get a good view yeah A beautiful bridge that's peeking out between the trees that you can't really see. We can get right down without breaking our necks.
if you've got some time, highly recommend doing this track because it looks like you can walk quite a long way. We left Oscar in the van because we didn't want him walking on these needles whether it's bad or but what a lovely a lovely walk in the path. It's nice and easy so it's an easy stroll and you're walking by the side of the waterfall that then changes into feeds into the lock. So highly recommend this. What's this place called again Jay? Invermorrison. Invermorrison. So highly recommend stopping here for a gentle stroll. So we've walked out to the road and we are now walking to the other bridge. So this is the old Invermorton Bridge. Sorry, I walked past that a bit quick. And I know I'm saying this a lot, but how pretty is this? Let's walk up to the other bridge so we can get... A, can you go around there? Okay. Let's walk to the other bridge so we can get a clear view of this much prettier bridge. So I don't know if you can see that, but we're just crossing over the bridge and there's the summer house on our left that we were, I was shooting the great view of the falls from. And then this is the bridge. And James is just getting some nice pictures. So we have just stopped in Drumla Drockit. Drumla and it, you can see our van over there, another free car park with camper van motorhome caravan parking and there's the I guess this area is most famous for the Loch Ness Monster exhibition and there's a what's the kiddie one called? Nessie Land. Uh, Nessie Land. So let's just go and have a look around another quainter. This this is about five minutes past the campsite. So you go past, up to the little roundabout by the co-op, past there and then you end up here, which um, is extremely pretty. Let's take a look over there. That's pretty. Really pretty. Let's cross over. Um, and you can see a lovely pub here. And the, oh look, that's, that lovely building up there is the Nessie Centre, so I guess we'll have to take a stroll up there eventually. There's a courtyard. That's the Nessie Centre up there. That nice building. <laughs> James has got hiccups. And we're going to, there's some pet shops and things down there. So, uh, so let's go and have a look down there. So we just had lunch at the Nessie Deli, uh, Ness Ness Deli, <laughs> which was really good. <coughs> Highly recommend it. Good value, lots of food. Uh, we just had a bit of a fight with the wasp, but now we're just having a wander around and looking at these lovely houses around the green. It's definitely a quaint little touristy village. We're going to walk up to the Ness Centre. <clears throat> and see see what's going on there. Maybe a lot less monster can be found because we haven't found them yet. So we'll see you when we get up there. So just having a look around the gift shop which is full of lots of lovely things including the gin that's distilled here. Um, lots of nice things but quite expensive. <laughs> Okay, that's where we're going to leave today's video. I hope that gave you a really good insight to what it's like to visit Fort Augustus and the shores of Loch Ness and the surrounding towns and areas. We highly recommended it. This was definitely one of our favourite stops on our Scottish Highlands trip, so make sure you put it on your itinerary. 
And if you want the full details of our itinerary from this trip, you can download a free detailed guide of exactly where we stayed, the mileage and what we thought of each location as well. But other than that, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and smash the bell so you're alerted when the new videos come out each week. Other than that, we will see you next week when we head out on the road again. Thank you.